Hello everyone, Mystic Intuition here. I am getting ready to do a 48 hour weekend read for July 25th and the 26th of 2020. Please, however, keep in mind that time is fluid. So whenever you view this, it may represent a past, present, or a future event for you. Um, there will be timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. Um, today, I don't have a lot of time, but I would like to get a weekend reading out for you guys. So I'm doing a pick a card, pick a pile style reading. We have pile one, two, three, and four. I'll give you guys a few moments to decide which pile that you want. This is Orca Agate here in pile number one. We have Bumblebee Jasper in pile number two. We have Blue Calcite in pile number three. And we have Smoky Quartz in pile number four. All right, this is pile number one. We have Power. Thoughts. Heart to Heart Conversations, The Seven of Wands, The Fool, and The Four of Swords. So immediately for me, I have strong Aries energy here. So you could be dealing with somebody who has strong Aries in their chart, or you could have Aries in your chart, but you don't have to. We also have Fire energy here and Air, but it could be any sign at all, okay? Power talks about somebody for me um, who definitely knows... They know how to get what they want, okay? It's like they have power, motivation, drive, they have that determination, that willpower to push them through, to propel them for things. Um, very strong Aries energy coming through for me. This, as this for me, is a very strong Aries type card, very emperor, empress kind of energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra Taurus, okay? Someone here is in deep reflection about what they want in this situation. You know, can we make this work? How can we make this work? Um, it feels like one of you is ready to fight for this connection the other one's needing some time to kind of think about this whatever it is it feels like there's a risk that has to be taken in this connection in this situation you know it's jumping off the cliff without a parachute on you know you're optimistic about a new beginning but fearful of the fall okay it's like maybe the bottom of the mountain looks great but there's no staircase there's no easy way to get there you know it could be a bumpy ride you don't know what to really expect you've never done this before it feels very new but nonetheless, you are both excited about it. Uh, this person here tries to control the situation. You're trying to find this reason with this person to help them kind of see or overcome their fears. They're just a little bit hesitant or nervous. They want it their way. They could be kind of stubborn. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. So honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. There's a really strong need between the two of you to really talk some of this out. You're deep in thought wondering, is this person even thinking about me? You could be reflecting about past conversations and situations with this person, rereading messages, uh, really trying to code this person's energy. Some of you could be really confused. You could feel that this person's kind of pulled their energy back from you. I kind of feel like it could be the other way around. You could be doing this to them as well. It's just, just energy of kind of taking this time to kind of think about this, whatever this next step is. This person wants to kind of be the one who controls the situation though. But I mean, I do see a new beginning here. It just seems like there's going to have to be this talk. That's how things are going to progress here. The two of you actually communicating about this, having a really heartfelt conversation about your wants, needs, and desires and how to make, how to make it happen. You know, finding comfort and I will catch you. I will be there. I'm going to defend this relationship. You know, you've thought about all the obstacles, you know, putting each other at ease here. All right. So pile number one, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. You can stay tuned for pile number two if you would like to, or I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number two. This is your reading. All right, we have compassion. We have centering. We have codependency. We have the king of wands, the king of swords, and the moon. All right, so straight away, I feel like there may be multiple people involved here. Someone really could have gotten hurt, disappointed, rejected even. In some way, this could have happened very unexpectedly. Maybe this person just pushed you away out of nowhere. You're still racking your brain confused about this entire situation. Um, this person here needs to have more compassion for the other person involved. Okay, because it's like maybe their intention was not to hurt this person, but it happens anyway. So you or them, you apply it however it resonates. Um... I feel like this person's world is kind of crumbling apart. Maybe this person pulled away or something, but they need to step back in and have compassion for the person here. Maybe they didn't really expect, like I said, to hurt this person, but they unintentionally did it in some way. Um, I 
I don't know why I want to say I feel like this person may have expressed their pain and this person didn't really believe it not no not believe it this person they may have what's the right how do I say this spirit they may have came off cold, you know, like, well, I'm sorry, but they didn't really say enough. Thank you, Spirit. They they didn't say enough. They didn't show enough compassion or emotion here. They didn't even act distraught or upset about it. It just, you know, you're still racking your brain in this situation. I feel more so this is their energy. Them needing to be more compassionate towards you. Show more empathy here. They're coming off very kind of cold. I mean, kind of hot-headed here. Maybe there was an, an argument, disagreement of falling out. This person could have addictions, codependency, toxic energy around them. You know, in this energy here, I feel more so this is you, but I mean, it could be reverse cross watchers, guys. Um, for me, this is kind of like a, um, a tower type card, a Scorpio type card. Uh, it's kind of like rebuilding, recenter, refocusing your energy. Feel very off centered, unbalanced after whatever this falling out was. It's like you're thinking about the past, possibly missed opportunities, you know, where things went wrong. Maybe things were good up until this certain point, this mis uh, miscommunication, misunderstanding, this argument, disagreement. Uh, things feel very off-centered. It just feels like there's a strong um, uh, energy of like unfinished business. Like this, this isn't. This can't be over. I have Pisces, Cancer energy here. Strong fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be any sign though. Um, for some reason, I get really strong Pisces type energy with this card. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody has let something come to the two of you. Now, it could be lust, greed, addiction, work, ego, but it's come to the two of you. This person could be a little bit um, stubborn. They could be a little bit hot-headed. I mean, there's definitely an attraction to the two of you, but a lot of unspoken feelings. I feel like this person has feelings for you, but they hide them very well. Uh, you may feel like it's very hidden. There could be a lot of doubt, insecurity, and fear behind here. Um, there needs to be a talk. Somebody needs to initiate this. Listen, you know, step up or step out kind of energy with this king of swords. Male or female, it doesn't matter. It's somebody taking control. There could be somebody coming to the two of you, maybe a divorce or something's here, or this could even be like legal uh, advice, counsel, something like that. Um... This could even be some like a judge ruling, you know, this person goes to rehab or this person gets help or this person goes to counseling because this person needs to have more empathy for this person. I feel like they do feel bad, though. I mean, look at how they're looking. Like, I didn't really mean to upset you. I didn't mean it for it to affect you that much. Maybe this is something that wouldn't have affected them as much. Okay, maybe it wouldn't affect them in quite the same way. Um, so that's why they don't understand why... Why it's hurting you so much but you're trying to rebuild from this you're trying to grow from this you're just clouded by all this insecurity fear and doubt right now there needs to be some kind of mediator here counselor uh couples therapy something like that or you know it's just maybe somebody taking charge initiating this conversation you know somebody asking for help uh no longer being stubborn into this uh third party type energy this is all right, pile number two, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You can stick around for pile number three, or I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome, pile number three. This is your reading. We're going to get started right here. We have Ancestors. We have Innocence. Okay. We have Make the Effort. Uh-huh. The Justice card. The Ace of Swords. Okay. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, so um, I'm really getting a very sweet vibe from this reading. Okay, I feel like you guys have been friends for quite some time. You have mutual contacts. There's been this unspoken chemistry, this connection to the two of you for quite some time. It could be like coworkers, friends, family, but you guys have history. And I think your angels and guides are trying to tell you this. Or some of you could be afraid that your um, family wouldn't necessarily approve. Maybe you grew up with this person and your families are very close to each other. Um... I'm going to read this more so like it's their side, but because I feel something like this, but it could be, you know, kind of mixed around here. With ancestors, though, it's kind of like someone could be afraid of what people are going to think or say. This person could be much older than you as well. This person could have been married in the past. Maybe that's a cultural difference or something. Uh, we have innocence. And look at these both of these cards. Look how similar these are. And I truly did not plan these cards. I haven't even looked at them until just now. And I'm just noticing this. Look at how we have this little boy who's kind of giving her a kiss. And, the, and she kind of took it off guard by this kiss here. 
this is this could be like a childhood best friend or you know high school sweetheart or something like that it's very sweet could be a libra cancer scorpio pisces we have strong air energy here uh, there's this energy here of just like this person, somebody taking a chance here, uh, giving it a shot, just seeing what's going to come of this, you know, um, how does this person feel? How do they think? That kind of thing, uh, kind of unexpected, kind of took it by surprise. You may not have expected this person to reach out on this way. Now you're kind of questioning this. Like, so I kind of feel like you guys may have like been friends for a while and all of a sudden they kind of open the door for flirt, flirt, for flirting with you or said something and you know you felt it in the past but you'd kind of put it out of your mind that this person may have wanted the same thing or thought the same way about you uh, but now you know I kind of feel like your heart is here in your hands looking at this cup do I want this you know should I invest in this should I try this should I you know nervous very nervous people are going to think or say here maybe one of you is married or something um or you guys you know like they go way back um this person they they want to balance the scales out with you though they want to do the right thing they they want to be here they want to court you they want to take the right steps here there's going to be this conversation about this this person's really wanting to make the effort here great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take they they feel compelled to try this with you i feel like they're the ones kind of making the move on you i mean it could be reversed but i do get more of an energy of them either saying something or making some kind of move here it's got you really thinking you're nervous about it but you do want this like your heart you know is with this person but you're nervous to take it to the next level you could be worried what people are going to think about this connection or you know is it going to work out what if we lose our friendship that kind of thing and i feel like uh gemini can and capricorn have recently had similar readings to this um but i mean it could be any signs involved but this is a really beautiful connection. I feel like this is, this is probably the best one so far. So, Pile 3, I hope that you enjoyed this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. You're welcome to stay for Pile number 4, or I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello there, Pile number 4. This is your reading. All right, we have Faith. We have Peace. We have Deception. We have the Page of Wands the judgment card and we have the four of pentacles okay so i feel like somebody's leaving behind a situation now you could be married to this person they could be married to this person or something along these lines there could be children involved here but there was some kind of betrayal or deception in this situation um someone is wearing a false mask someone could also have been got caught cheating or something like that they could be trying to keep the balance or peace in their home we have faith here so like it's like uh trying to have hope um feel secure in the possibilities that things are going to come together trying to see things from a different vantage point because i kind of feel like when i see this card you know she's kind of like in the woods in the wilderness kind of peering through branches kind of searching for something searching for truth or some kind of answer that'll give uh, you more of a settled feeling in this situation. I'm, I read this more like it's their energy or this like it's yours, but it could be reversed or kind of mingled around. With the card of peace, somebody's desperately trying to keep together their home. They don't want any conflict. Um, if there was a third party interference here, they're trying to kind of hold this together. Maybe they have children involved, uh, protecting it, kind of shielding it from whatever this deception was. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now, in this energy here, we have the Page of Wands that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also had the um, Earth energy here with this card could be any signs involved however i get a really strong temperance energy sagittarian energy with this card um but someone's kind of holding back i kind of feel like you may have left this person or they left someone and they're not allowing this person to come towards them Like, let's say that th this person was, for, this is, again, this is a general read. It's not going to be for everybody, so you can check other piles for your messages. Um, there's this energy for me. It's kind of like someone may have made a decision to kick someone out to protect themselves and their family. They're holding back, not allowing this person in, but this person still has hope and faith that this person will hear them out. They're shooting out communication. They're reaching out, trying to pull up this person's heartstrings. But, you know, we have the judgment card here, so I feel like someone's making a, a final decision no, no longer let this person back in. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, and if you were the third party, your person may be getting caught. They're trying to make peace with their uh, partner or karmic situation, but they are uh, to firm no, okay, because someone may have got, I mean, I've seen three people here. 
or you may have just seen this person and realized that maybe they had maybe they lied so that they said they were single and had a family or something or they were talking to other people or some kind of deception it doesn't have to be a third party like a physical person it could be anything but it's something you're holding back from this person protecting your heart uh, this person still wants a chance though they still want a chance now this may may or may not even be the person you're currently interested in this could be a past person this could be an ex that's you know from the past that still wanted a shot with you but I think that you know it's firm it's a hard no it's a firm decision here there was too many lies too much distrust too much betrayal uh, and if you're if you for those of you who are the third party you know this person's closing the door they definitely could be holding on to the money not allow this person to have that um, but this is situations crumbling all right so this was your reading pile number four please remember to like comment and subscribe i'm wishing you all strength and many blessings Thank you all so much for joining me for this weekend reading. I'm going to try to do more of these for you guys. It's been very busy. You guys know um, I am a mother first and foremost of anything else. Um, I do want to thank each and every one of you for 40,000 subscribers. I cannot even begin to tell you how truly blessed and honored I feel just to have you guys um, be so supportive of me and this channel. Um, I am in need of moderators. Um, so if you're interested in helping kind of feed through uh, trolls and spam comments, uh, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'm just going to be select selecting a few of you that I regularly see comment. Um, I have personal readings open right now on Etsy. When they sell out, they'll be delisted uh, and then renewed as they become available again. All the links and everything are in the description box below. I am wishing you guys strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.